Sagittarius, welcome to your weekend love readings. These will be from the 7th of February through to the 9th of February. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. That's how I communicate with all of you. So please, please, please leave me comments. I love reading them. I love hearing from you. Um, also, these are general love readings. So if it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Don't forget to, um, sorry, just hit that notification button if you haven't already. And then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. Okay, let's get started. Sagittarius. Oh, straight away. Boom. Sagis. Okay, so that's your card, but it's coming up in reverse. So that immediately tells me that my Sagittarius people are not feeling themselves. Uh, but it also says this is definitely your reading. So let's go, Sagittarius. Love messages, please. You may be dealing with an Aries or just someone that has a strong influence in your life. They are quite a forward personality. It could be someone that you're married to or in a long-term commitment with. some clarifying in one second Sagittarius but it does look like you are this emperor figure so this is either someone that you are uh, that's uh, sorry it's either someone who is quite strong-minded dominant they're reasonably fair because he's in the upright so he's a he's a kind dominant but he's a very strong-willed and he wants his way and he thinks that this is right and this is wrong and he's very black and white in his thinking and again, it can be a female. I'm saying he because it's emperor. Um, but they're very, they're very strong in the relationship. Now, I think it's you doing some reflecting because you've got the hangman here. So there's some introspection there, followed by the four of swords. So. You may be focusing on or looking to get a bit of a break, looking to get a break from this person, looking to get some more support because you're a bit run ragged at the moment, I think. You're overwhelmed, you're stressed. Let's get some clarification though. So what is the hangman, please? Hangman. I did take a bigger spread for you guys because you've got these two signifiers at the front. And the four of swords, please. Ooh. Mm. Sad, you, you're struggling to get the truth off your chest. Like you've got, you know, you, you, you're thinking about something that you need to communicate that you think that they may not agree with. Um, you think you are, you've got something to say, you've got some truth to bring out, you've got some, something to communicate that I think doesn't necessarily, well, you don't think it's going to align with what they want to do or what they think or their agreement, um, causing you a lot of stress. He's awake in this one, so he's not getting any sleep. I can't really see that. He's not getting any sleep there, so he's wide awake and very stressed out, okay? Needs to take some meditation, peace, time. Now, that's clarified with the Eight of Cups in reverse. And I think that this is kind of indicating that you could be worried that the person is actually um, going to emotionally disconnect from you. Um, or it's going to cause some sort of emotional rift with this person. Let's do the Emperor, please. Tell us more about the Emperor in this situation. Okay. Another. 
So this emperor always knows what he wants. Okay, knows how to good time, is very social, well liked, is very, this is yes, this is no, like really knows what he wants with the two of pentacles. Never sits in juggling indecisive land, makes quick decisions, is clear with his decisions, stick to his decisions. And I think that that's part, that must be part of what has got you worried because I think maybe you're going to challenge that somehow. Maybe you don't agree with one of the decisions that have been made um, and you are concerned that there's going to be some sort of emotional backlash. Again, there's some impact to the social scene here too or that wouldn't be showing up. So you might be concerned about what your friends and family, shared friends and family are thinking, um, that there's some, this could somehow impact yeah, that social network. And he's very well liked. That's why it's shown up under him. Um, give me more on Sagittarius, please. Temperance, temperance card. Okay, yeah, you know you need to communicate. You know you've got something to say. You're speaking from your heart, from your soul. Um, you are just working up the courage to take that stick forward and go, actually, this is my opinion. When you do it, it'll be quite strong. Sometimes with the Page of Wands, it can be mean that there's going to be a bit of a fight because it can get quite heated being a fire, fire stick. Um, so I think that you're just kind of gathering your strength to do that and that's what's got you feeling out of sorts over here. What's the most likely outcome for Sagittarius, please? You're really working on your plan, Sagittarius. You really, this has got you very nervous that if it doesn't go right, it could all fall apart. Okay, yeah, you're very focused on not getting hurt, not hurting anyone else. You want this to go as smoothly as possible and that's why you're really planning. See how he's hard at work planning making sure that I've got every detail and being very, you know, everything's perfectly worked on. One more, please. It's very important for you that this goes smoothly. Oh, okay. Yeah, because this is what's hidden. This again is repeating that you're going to... Okay, so for this weekend, it will stay hidden still. This weekend will mostly be you trying to plan on how you're going to get through this without a heartbreak. Where How are you going to get through this? What, you know, um, you what are you going to have to do to make sure that no one gets hurt here? But you are going to hold on to the secret for a little bit longer, I think, whatever it is. Oh, I wonder what it is. Please tell me what it is, Sagittarius. I want to know. I wonder if it's children involved, something to do with children, some of you. not seeing any children here. This can sometimes mean a younger child. You may be communicating about something to do with a younger child. All right. Advice, please, for Sagittarius. Oh, boom. I was actually going to say, I wonder if the Six of Cups will come out. So this is the children card. Okay, so for some of you, it may be something to do with children. Um, your partner might have very strong views on how things are to be with children, and you know that, uh, -uh I've got something else to say about that, but you're just working out. It might be, I feel like for some of you, it might go against your cultural beliefs here with the Three of Cups, and that could be why you think that he's going to have a lot of the family and friends support um, that might not agree with your view. Wow, that's actually, I nearly said it. That always happens. I should just say it all the time. Advice, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Sagittarius this is you in Queen of Wands and Queen of Swords even if you're a male it's just because they're queens one more please okay 
Wow, okay. All right. This is going to possibly cause some stress on your relationship, on your marriage, okay? Um, but Spirit's kind of saying, you know what, you've got to do the action bits, you've got to do the doing, the planning, the whatever it is that needs to get done, you need to be the one to do it. And you're going to have to do it in a clear, well-communicated, non-emotional, um, uh, sensible way. So interesting that two queens came out here that are absolutely reflected in the reading here with the page of wands being the action that needs to be taken and the queen of swords being the clear, honest communication that needs to happen. So it's kind of like you're going to have to channel your inner queen to get this done. And I do think it's about, it's either about some incident from the past or some situation from the past, some person from the past, or about children, something to do with your kids. Again, ten of pentacles, maybe loss of money, um, maybe loss of income, maybe loss of property, but... It, is, it may also put a strain, if you're in a long-term relationship, it could put a strain on your relationship, okay? Let's do Romance Angels. Oh, although it's not a very romantic situation, but Romance Angels for Sagittarius. Getting new Oracle cards this weekend, which is exciting. All right, so I think this is kind of saying, I feel like you need to play on the chemistry a bit here. This could be the key down here, is the chemistry that you and your partner have. You might need to be, I don't know, leveraging off that a little bit to get what you want, all right? Um, so yeah, look, that's what I've got for you, Sagittarius. Interesting read. Please leave some comments down below. Very keen to see how this is playing out for you. Um, and I will see you back here for the weekly reads. Talk to you soon, bye.